Welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. Today we're going to look at Instant 3D. Instant 3D is a great tool to help you speed up your design changes. We'll make a few changes to our model both with and without Instant 3D to notice the differences. First, making a change, you can either edit a sketch or you can double click on the face of a model, double click on the dimension, make your change, and then click Rebuild. So that's several different steps to make a very simple design change. Next, we'll compare utilizing Instant 3D. To turn on Instant 3D, we'll use the Features tab of the Command Manager. Click on the command. Now, single-clicking a face of the model will expose the dimensions, and we can single-click a dimension, type in the new value, and as soon as we hit Enter, we get an instant update of our model. We can also do dynamic changes. So by single-clicking and exposing the dimensions, notice the balls that appear at the ends of the dimensions. We can click and hold and drag those to get dynamic updates. One other way to leverage Instant 3D is by just simply clicking on a face of a model and instead of finding the dimension that locates that face, we can use the green arrow that appears and just simply drag that. And if we want to utilize the ruler, we can snap to small increments near the vertical edge. Moving a little further away, we can snap to larger increments. So Instant 3D will allow us to change just about anything with a driving dimension in SolidWorks. Another example would be the instance count of a pattern. And one other piece of functionality, if we've got existing sketches and we want to create our features, we can simply click on a portion of the sketch, drag the green arrow that appears, and we get dynamic updates. If we drag up, we'll get a boss extrude. If we drag down below the face, we'll get a cut extrude. Another trick we can do while using Instant 3D is while dragging the green arrow, we can hold down the Alt key and hover over top of another face to get the end result to match up with the location of that face. It's really just adjusting the driving dimension value for that boss extrude. If we wanted those two faces to be linked together, we would edit the feature and change the end condition to up to surface. I'll conclude the video with a few things to watch out for. When using Instant 3D, it's very easy to get into situations where you cause errors within your model. So if we drag this radius around to certain dimensions, we're going to end up with some errors. Control Z is a quick way to get yourself back to where you were. Another thing to watch out for is modifying dimensions of a whole wizard hole feature. When we make those changes, it does deviate from the standard. If we edit the feature now, you can see that we have gone into custom sizing and modified that dimensional value. I hope you give Instant 3D a try to speed up your workflow. Thanks for watching TPM's 3-Minute Thursdays.